I just can't do this anymore. Can't do what? What is wrong with you? It's not me. It's you, Tube. Wait, I don't understand. I just gotta move on. So you're leaving? For good? Yeah, it's just too much stress. I got too many problems. I'm leaving. Look, it's nothing we can't fix. Maybe you can talk slower in your videos and actually learn how to use After Effects? You don't understand. I can't do it without Video Hive templates. We can work through this together. We can create even better videos. Thank you, but... I quit! Does this mean I get the channel now? So apparently, uh, I can't quit because medical bills aren't cheap and I need to pay for that after getting hit by a car. Yeah, uh, but if you don't wanna worry about medical bills, I can show you how you can get hit by a car with post-production with After Effects. So, you know, you can make a good short film and you don't have to injure your talent. So we're gonna talk about that in this video. But before we jump into the After Effects portion, we have to talk about how do you film this? So it's actually really easy to film this. You just have to shoot this as two different takes with one shot. So what I mean by that is you set up your shot, you frame it and you make sure the camera is on a tripod. You don't want to be moving around. So the first thing you're gonna do is have your talent act out their action as if they're about to get hit by the car. And after they acted out their action, they're gonna leave the frame and then you're gonna have the car or whatever object roll right by the camera. And it's very important that the camera does not move. So for me, I'm not gonna even stop recording after the first action. I'm gonna record my talent's action and then how the car roll all the way through without touching the camera because any movement of the camera is going to mess this effect up. So when you have your talent's action and the car rolling by, we can take this over to After Effects and composite together a car hit. As you can see, we have two of our video clips in here. Uh, you have me acting out this uh, really badly, and then you have the footage of the car going by. And notice within the car footage that there is a decent portion of time where the car is not on there because I'm using this as a backplate. You'll see what we'll do in a second. So what we want to do is be able to cut me out and put me on that you know footage below. So let's go ahead and rename these. Rename the, name the bottom layer to uh, car footage. I'll rename the top layer to acting footage. Actually, I'll rename this to uh, bad acting. How about that? Okay, so what we wanna do is identify where you want your talent to get hit. Say right here's where I would like for me to get hit. So I'm just gonna go up here to edit split layer. And I'm gonna bring both these layers back in time because I need to match this up with the car. So our car is right there and I'll put that cut right there, beautiful. So in our first acting footage, we'll grab the pen tool here and we'll come here and we'll create like a nice you know, mask around uh, your talent. Just like this and we'll just kind of keep this mask as close as possible to the hand and we'll bring this down and put that right there awesome now you can see we're going to be able to see the car and your talent right there and that's awesome and one thing you're going to do is hit m on your keyboard to bring up the mask and we'll add a keyframe for mask path and we'll move forward here and we'll just simply grab the selection tool and we'll move this mask over to follow and hold down shift on your keyboard and click a point and you can just move these around so if you have to animate the mask a little bit just to open them up make sure that you're in there no problem, make sure you do that. And then when you're done, hit F front keyboard for mass feather and feather this out maybe to about 50 to 100. So now we have the part where we're acting out and we can see the car coming in and that's what's important just with the mask, very easy to do. So now we wanna get hit by the car. So in our second layer, what we're gonna do is right click it, go to time and we're gonna click on freeze frame. So now I'm completely frozen in time, awesome. Then we'll come here to the roto brush because we need to cut me out to the edge and I don't wanna have to go in there you know, pixel peeping. So we'll grab the roto brush here at the top and we'll double click our footage. And here's the brushes window over here on the right. And if you don't see it, go up to window brushes and you can increase the diameter to make brush a little bit bigger or smaller. And simply we're just gonna left click and paint or brush our uh, mask in here. And it's just like the using the pen tool, but it's a little bit more automatic and just a little bit quicker in my opinion. You know, and if you have to subtract anything, you hold down alt on your keyboard and you can just paint anything out and it'll automatically refine the mask. All right, so that looks good enough. It does not have to be perfect, you know, to the you know point because, you know, this is going to be moving really fast. But as long as you get the majority of your mask in there, you're good to go. Then go back to composition over here and you see we're cut out here and you see it's also not perfect. So we'll just increase the feather to maybe about like 80 to 100. And that's fine. And I think that's okay for what we're doing here. So now all we got to do is be able to get hit by the car. So what we'll do here since this is all happening really fast in my clip, I can actually move me back a little bit because I've already gotten hit by it. Boom, we're just gonna get hit by it really quick. So now we gotta react my body to the car hit. So what we'll do is we'll grab the puppet pen tool here at the top and we'll double click our clip again. And this time 
we'll just click a bunch of points so i'll ask like a few points at my torso and then like maybe one at my chest and we'll add some points down here to make sure these don't move and then you can see i can kind of start to distort me a little bit and that's totally fine so what we're going to do is just kind of bring me in like this we can add a point at my arm you know do any manipulating there and i know it looks a little bit crazy but it's okay and um then maybe i can even move my head down a little bit more that's actually how I look in real life too, just nice and stretchy. So now once you have everything in position here, all we have to do is hit P and keyboard for position. And we'll add a keyframe for it and move forward just by a few frames. And we'll just grab the X position and move us outside of frame. So now we'll scrub through here, make sure we're good. Perfect. All right, that head looks really big. Um, so what we're going to do here is just turn on motion blur and make sure it's turned on the top. And now we're going to be good to go. So go ahead and play through this, see what we have. So obviously it looked a little bit ridiculous, but now we have the car hit perfect. You can't notice anything. And even if anyone like pauses, you know, your video, they're not going to really notice anything. That looks really good. It's only like up there for a few frames. So that's the beauty of doing this effect that is really easy to do if you get it done correctly with the tripod. And if you want the clip to continue to roll on, make sure that you just close up the out point of your uh, main acting clip and then it'll continue to be on. And that's the beauty of having all that extra plate on your drive-by footage. So if you want to be able to add like a little extra camera shake to this because you were forced to lock this down on the tripod, we'll go up to layer, new adjustment layer, and we'll go to effect, stylize, and we're gonna grab motion tile, and we'll all click the stopwatch for tile center, and we'll type in wiggle, open parenthesis, uh, two comma 30, or whatever values you want to use to create a little bit of intensity, and check on mirror edges. So now we have a little bit of nice camera shake here. And of course, if you wanna make it a little bit more intense, you can change the second number to like 60 or even further depending on your clip. And nice, bam, we got a little bit of camera shake on our footage and you can never tell it was shot on a tripod. So this is one of those VFX that is gonna usually require a little bit of sound work to sell because right now, I, I quit. it's just a little bit ridiculous. So and one of the benefits of being subscribed to Envato Elements is you have access to over 100 thousand sound effects within your monthly subscription and this library is growing along with the other million plus assets for music you know the after effects templates and just a ridiculous of other categories but for example we can come here and type in car hit and we have a ton of different sound effects from getting hit by a car and we need to be thinking about the sound of getting hit by a car maybe glass breaking of course a car driving by and maybe a horn so we're able to download all this from envato elements and i can bring these elements into my video editor and I could bring this clip in here to sync this up to when the truck's on screen and then I quit. Perfect. And we have this car hit and it's a little bit intense. So we'll bring this in there and we'll obviously want to dial down the levels of this and match that up perfectly. And let's go ahead and bring this level down to maybe like negative 10. And maybe we'll add like a horn. It's a little ridiculous for it, but I think it's funny. We'll go ahead and add that in there. And we'll want this horn to kind of be playing before that clip gets on. I quit. Nice. I quit. So having all these sound effects in here really sells this effect and it just makes it really much more uh, believable. So if you want to check out Envato Elements, because Envato Elements not only just has a ton of sound effects, it has amazing video templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro, from ranging from titles to logos and a ton of other assets that you can bring in. Also has a huge music library for your videos with this library constantly growing. Also a ton of stock video to stock photos and just so much more. You can even download WordPress and website templates. So I don't know, man. Uh, if you want to check out Envato Elements, I will link this in the description. It's something that I use on all my projects because I'm always in a rush. I need templates. It saves me a ton of time and it's all in one place. So I'm not scattering around, you know, five different stock websites to find photos, videos, or music. It's all in one place and it's no problem. It's under one of the most affordable subscription plans out there for $16.50 a month. So if you want to check out Envato Elements and see all the amazing assets and see how you can use it, I will drop this link in the description. So that's how you can film someone getting hit by a car with compositing inside of After Effects. If you found this video fun and entertaining, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always be creating. <music>